Hello friends, foes, and other watchers on the internet. My name is Matt, and you're watching Hogwash Gaming. And today we're going to be playing a game that originated in Germany, though its name implies that it came from somewhere else. I'm talking about Chinese checkers. The game of Chinese checkers is played on a board in the shape of a six-pointed star. Each player has ten marbles, and their goal is to move all their marbles to the opposite point of the star. They do this by moving one space at a time, or jumping other marbles. And if you can make multiple jumps in one turn, then you can do that. One, two. You can even jump over opponent's marbles. But unlike regular checkers, this doesn't mean that they lose their marbles. It just means you get to move that much further. Just be aware that it goes both ways. However, there are limitations to where you can move in the game. For instance, red can only go from this triangle where they start, to the hexagon where everyone can move, to the triangle that he's going to. Red could not move into this triangle, this triangle, or this triangle. Similarly, yellow couldn't go into these triangles. He could only go into the triangle he starts with, the hexagon, and the opposite triangle. Another thing you cannot do is stay in your starting point so that someone else can't win. If your starting zone is someone else's ending zone, then you have to make room for them. A way to make sure that that doesn't happen is to have players that are opposite each other be on a team. So they have to work together in order to win. In this instance, red and green would be a team, and white and blue would be a team. So they would be trying to help each other switch sides as quickly as possible, instead of holding out to make sure that someone can't win. And now it's time for something completely different. Another game that you can play with a Chinese checkerboard is take all the marbles and put them in the center hexagon, leaving the center of it empty. Then, each player takes turns hopping marbles and removing them. Once again, if you can double hop, go ahead. Just like regular checkers, if you double hop, you get to take both of those pieces. The game ends when you can no longer jump over pieces, and whoever has removed the most pieces wins the game. So give it a shot. And until next time, this is Hogwash, over and out.